Images of peace removed from some classrooms in Halifax. The superintendent says some parents felt their children were being, quote, politically marginalized by these flags. Other parents and their kids can't seem to understand why, as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us. The peace flag has every single color on it, so that, to me, that should mean that it represents every single thing. Ten-year-old Charlie Eldridge is in the fifth grade at Halifax Elementary School. Recently, his teachers and classmates hung these peace flags up on the back walls of their classrooms. Charlie says they hung them as a reminder. That up there was showing that everyone should have peace and not be rude, mean, and just accept people for who they are. But the flags were recently removed until the principal received requests from parents who wanted to display other flags in the classroom as well. In fact, the school superintendent sent home a letter addressing the issue, saying some parents felt their kids were being politically marginalized, saying under equal access laws and regulations, we had to provide access to numerous points of view and cannot discriminate based on a particular viewpoint. Parents are weighing in on the matter. It's about peace. There's absolutely no harm in promoting peace and goodness and equality. It's simply encouraging love and kindness. And I, I honestly don't know why anyone would feel politically marginalized by that. Moving forward, all flags or symbols must be approved by school administration in advance in order to avoid any confusion. Meanwhile, Charlie hopes to get a petition going to get the peace flags rehung. I would love to see it back up. Um, again, like what Charlie said, this flag is not political. It doesn't take sides. I hope that they agree with my point and hope that they sign and help me get at least 100 signatures. On top of all of Charlie's schoolwork, he's just waiting on the teacher's approval to start his petition. In Halifax, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News. Paul, thank